Hey guys, it's Miss Warner. I'm here with my little puppy Sadie, and we're going to read to you tonight Mr. Putter and Tabby Row the Boat. Are you guys Mr. Putter and Tabby fans? My whole family is a fan of Mr. Putter and Tabby, and their good dog Zeke. Yes, we're going to read about them in just a second. All right, Sadie. Mr. Putter and Tabby Row the Boat by Cynthia Ryland. Sweaty. It was summer. Look, he's in his hammock. And Tabby is in the tree. We have some hammocks here. Matter of fact, Riley got a hammock for her birthday that has lights around it so she can go out when it's dusky. The weather was very hot. Mr. Putter and Tabby and his fine cat Tabby lay around all day and sweated. I'm not sure sweated is a word. They sweated on the front porch, they sweated in the kitchen, and they sweated under the oak tree. They even tried the basement, but they sweated there too. We're too old to sweat like this, Mr. Putter told Tabby. We shouldn't have any sweat left in us, but they did and they were miserable. Then Mr. Putter had an idea. Let's go to the big pond, he said to Tabby. We'll take Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke. Their neighbors, Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog Zeke were sweaty too. Mr. Putter was sure of it because he had just seen Mrs. Teaberry dump a whole bowl of water on Zeke's head. He went to Mrs. Teaberry and told her his idea. Here's Mrs. Teaberry pouring the water on Zeke. She thought a trip to the pond was a wonderful idea. She said that she would make tomato sandwiches. She would fix kiwi salad and she would fill a jug with apple tea. She has some odd foods, though I do like tomato sandwiches. Mr. Putter smiled. He liked Mrs. Teaberry's funny food. He went home to get Tabby ready. They were going to the big pond. Fun times. The big pond was not far away. So Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke walked. It was a hot walk. It was a sweaty walk. It was a slow walk. But it got exciting. Look, they're carrying Tabby on their picnic basket. Mrs. Teaberry was wearing a big white hat covered with fake grapes. A blue jay kept trying to steal the grapes. He swooped down and grabbed Mrs. Teaberry's hat from her head. Shoo, said Mrs. Teaberry. Scat, said Mr. Putter. Tabby and Zeke were too hot to do anything. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry couldn't help laughing at the silly bird. Finally, Mrs. Teaberry gave it some kiwi salad and it flew away. Kiwi is one of my favorites. When they got to the big pond, there was a woman there renting boats. Two dollars for two hours, she told them. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry looked at each other. What a deal, they said. They loaded up Tabby and Zeke in lunch and rode away. Tabby curled up under one of the seats. Zeke tried to drink out of the pond. Mr. Putty, Putter and Mrs. Teaberry headed for a good shady place. Now most of the time, cats do not like water. Tall tails. Mr. Putter stopped near a clump of pine trees that made a good shady place. When they reached the place, Mrs. Teaberry took off her hat. Many of her fake grapes were missing now, but she didn't mind. She filled the hat with water and dumped it on Zeke's head. Zeke loved it.
Tabby came out from under her seat and she batted at a water bug on the pond. Her tail twitched and her teeth clicked and she forgot about being hot. She just wanted that bug. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry took off their shoes and put their feet in the water and they filled their cups with apple tea, chewed their tomato sandwiches and finished what was left of the kiwi salad. Looks like a nice picnic, doesn't it? They told each other tall tales from their lives. Mr. Putter told about the time that he won the county worm race. Can you imagine a worm race? He said his worm's name was Jack. Look what a trunk he's got. Mrs. Teabury told about the time that she won $300 and she said she spent it all on toenail polish. We got her polishing her toenails. Have any of you girls polished your toenails while we've been off? They laughed and laughed at each other's stories. A good belly laugh is always a good thing, right? Zeke drank from the pond and Tabby batted at the bug and everyone was happy. When it was time to row the boat back, Mr. Putter and Tabby weren't sweating anymore. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke were cool as cucumbers. The trip had been a success. Whoops, about to show you the picture. They left the rowboat with the rowboat woman and began to walk home was a hot walk. It was a sweaty walk. It was a slow walk. When they got home, they were all as hot as before when they left, and no one knew what to do. Then Mrs. Teaberry filled up her hat, she's got the water hose, and dumped water on everybody's head, even her own. And they all felt much better. That's one of my favorites. Mr. Putter and Tabby Row the Boat by Cynthia Riley.